in their best year. <laughs> A yeah, familiar result, but pretty good performance. Yeah, again, I, you know, with the lads' effort, I probably couldn't have asked a great deal more. You know, it was um, probably just a 20-minute period there where we didn't execute quite the way we wanted to with the finish to our sets, and um, you know, there were a couple of the, the Niger blues made the uh, made the, another break there and passed it to Elijah, and then he sort of dropped the ball on the back of that. Uh, Frankie Pritchard. Tried to push an offload there, and they got the ball back. So there's just a couple of little things there which you know really help, um, hurt us. But I, I thought you know we gave ourselves every opportunity. You know, I thought Australia spent a great deal of time down on our try line there, and we kept turning them away. And so uh, mate, the same test last year was 42-6. So. Um, <laughs> Like that one, did you? That was a good comment. <laughs> good quote. Um, so, you know, from, from our point of view, it's always about, you know, wanting to improve, you know, improve, um, you know, where we've come from. And, um, you, know, um, you know, it's no different next time we play Australia. We, you know, we want to you know, we wanna, we wanna win. You're going to have to score more than 10 points to beat them, though, aren't you? That seems to be the familiar theme with a lot of these teams. Yeah, yeah, we will. Um, and, and again, you know, like I said, I, I think if we had it executed, you know, a little better, um, you know, I, I thought we would have given ourselves a great opportunity to put, you know, put some more points on the board. For a team that's um, relatively new and looking forward, it's a good performance if you were looking to progress to next year's World Cup. Do you think that helps? Oh, uh, yeah, again, you know, as I just mentioned in the sheds there, with, you know, the guys that made their debuts tonight, and gee, I, you know, I thought they um, they looked fairly comfortable out there, you know, Kitty Proctor and and you know, Big Sam and you know, young Ben Futter, who um, I, I thought he, you know, I thought he had a great game. <coughs> and um, um, you know, once again, the, the guys in camp, the rest of the team, Benji and the rest of the boys who have been there for, for some time, you know, they really helped them fit into the camp well. And um, you know, consequently, consequently, they come up with a, I thought a great performance for the newcomers. And um, you know, so from that point of view, um, you know, I'm pleased. But again, we've got to keep looking to to improve ourselves. Stephen, how important was that third quarter? You seemed to be on top a lot of the time, but but couldn't cop it and, and get points. Third quarter, two halves, wasn't it? The first quarter of the second half, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, we um, we did spend a bit of time there down on the down on their try line, and, and and we didn't come away with um, you know a great deal. And well, we did come, we come away with nothing. So, and when you um, when you have Australia in that position, you need to you know you need to get a result. In some, you know, in some form, whether it's a penalty or back-to-back um, -back set or whatever it might be, ultimately you want to want to try, but um, we come away with nothing, and you know that sort of hurt us a bit. Do you think the penalty still put you guys on the heels a bit? That late penalty where they got two up. Um. Well, again, you know, I think we're still, you know, you know, gave ourselves an opportunity at that stage. Um, um, you know, I, I think, you know, I thought the ref was, I thought the ref was, um, you know, pretty good tonight. Certainly from my point of view, and, you know, we, um, I think we should you know, keep a, 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 a southern hemisphere ref for these games and the indoor cases. Teams, were you glad to see the Aussies take the two points then? Were you a little bit surprised? Um, no, well, the game was uh, backwards and forwards from end to end, and um, you know we, we were sort of grinding it set for set, and um, they were attacking our try line for a long time there, and um, you know, we kept hold, holding them out. So I think it's just a bit of bit of respect to the way we we're defending on the try line, and uh, yeah, we still gave ourselves a chance, and, and we're keen to get back in the game. But you know, the result got away from us again. Steve, did the late change to their starting side get you by surprise, or did you anticipate Tony Williams would start? Or yeah, or no, well, it didn't bother us. You know. Do you think it looked like it bothered us? Just uh, <laughs> no, just no, anything. Again, <laughs> again, our, our focus all week has, has, has been about you know what what we do, and I, and I thought you know um, um, I anticipated um, you know that they were trying you know send them at, at Benj, and I thought Benj handled them and Kitty Proctor handled them um, you know quite well, so it didn't you know, didn't really bother us. Benji, James Tamo did quite a bit of damage to you guys tonight. Does it, does it hurt a bit more coming from a guy who was in your train on squad? Oh, back, to these, back to these questions. Um, yeah, no. I mean, probably did have a good game. Yeah, well, look, that, that's why he's in the team, isn't it? Um, you know, he's made his decision, and we're far past that now. Um, you know, Big Sammy made his decision to play with us, and that's, that's all that matters to us. Um, 
Good luck to James. Or the gym, apparently. Good luck to... <laughs> Are you just taking any changes in that squad? Now, I know it's only for a couple of 12 months out of your injuries, but you know, you've got a few players that weren't available. Do you, do you expect what you saw tonight um, to make any changes to that squad? Yeah, again, it's hard to say, Margie, at this stage. Um, you know, Sean Ginnigal's not there. You know, Manu Bradavai's not there. Sam Rivera, um, you know, Sukumani, uh, Frank Paul, you know, like Jared. You know, there's a, there's a number of kids that, you know, um, one are out through injury or, you know, didn't get picked because the team that we had there tonight um, had some form players in it. So, um, you know, we've, we feel we've been pretty consistent with our selections over the last, you know, three or four years. And... Um, Tonight we had a guy that hadn't played in two years, Sammy Kerr, Greg Eastwood and Chris Manuma. So um, if they're playing well, they'll get picked. Sam Parrott has had a bit of an elusive life since he's gone to Canada. He's a different player to <coughs> you know, the last Different club, different team, and they went all right, the Bulldogs. Yeah, I, I, you know, in talking to Sam, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's sort of um, re-energised, rejuvenated, if you want to you know, give it a term. He, uh, he's happy about, happy about what, what he's doing. Uh, he's got three more years there, so um, and he's a real, you know, he's a real leader of any club. Steve, you've obviously got a depth of fullback now as well, with Josh Hoffman, obviously increasing in his features. Any thought of him tonight? Yeah, I, I thought Josh, you know, um, I, I thought he didn't finish the year off real well um, at the Broncos, but um, he played a couple of couple of games on the wing there at some one stage, but I, I thought you know he was confident under the high ball and he fought the ball back really well tonight. So um, you know that's a real positive for us. You know Kevin Loft is another kid who uh, has played for us, so um, um, it's good to have those op- you know those options. What about Chris um, Manu, mate? Um, he's a guy with so much talent. He hasn't really featured much for the Kiwis since his debut. What were your impressions of him tonight? I thought he was really good. You know, I thought he was really good. Um, and again, you know, I think we're all in the room well aware of the talent that he has. And um, obviously, going, you know, the change, you know, going to the dogs has, has been you know, a real blessing for him. And, you know, we're happy, happy to, you know, reap the, reap the benefit of it, that's for sure. Did you reckon that at half time, two minutes to go, and a lovely try to Greg Beale in the 10 all at half time, that put your thoughts just to come to the shelf? Yeah, well, we've done well to claw back to that. Uh, we're under the pump there for a while, and um, yeah, just put one up. And Sammy Parrott took a beautiful take, and, and we scored. And the boys were confident coming in at half time. And <coughs> thought the way we started the second half, um, you know, with the energy that we did have, was good. We just couldn't capitalise down in the half, and um, you know, that sort of cost us, I think, a little bit. Steve, what's your thoughts? The performance tonight. The performance tonight. I mean, you were competitive. You stuck close. Do you see now more Sam Cassianos rather than James Tamo situations coming your way? Oh, well, well, I hope so. Um, you know, uh, back to that point. I mean, you know, we're just thankful and, and happy that Sammy's made that decision to play for us, and, and the way he's fit in this week. Um, you know, we, we love having him in our team, and I thought he was one of our best tonight. So, if, if people want to play for us, we'll take him. Um, if they don't, well, like I said, good luck to them. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.